from the 3S landing page, most of the time you're going to go straight into the coach administration page, which is located up here. Let me click on that and show you what we have. Here's where you're going to put some of your athletes or all of your athletes' uh, individual personal data. Let's um, take a look at somebody that's pre-populated already. You see that you're going to create their first name, last name, and their username. Put a password in, email, information about their uh, physical statistics as well. And then you're going to go to the second part, which is the results planning. This is a very important part of what we do. Uh, for this athlete, they're interested in a 500-yard short course freestyle, their current best time, and the target result for the end of the season. Okay, that's a seasonal progression rate of 2.9%. Now, it's between 2 to 5% is normal, but there's a lot of cases where if you're dealing with age group swimmers, um, where you can have a higher uh, progress rate because of their growth, their, their better technique, and their, their stamina. So, we use this as a rule with uh, a little bit more of an experienced swimmer. Then the, part, the third part, you're going to do the season planning itself, and that's where you're going to put in the beginning date and the end date of these particular season. Now I could go into you know multiple humps of seasons but that's uh, beyond the scope of this original screencast. So this is where you just put in the meat and potatoes, the regular information, uh, pertinent information that you need to begin the process.